Okay, now that I finally got an enchanting table, I can enchant this pickaxe. Let's see, I put this into there with lapis and efficiency one. There we go. This place was different. It wasn't like the grid or the pit I had already escaped. This time, I could go through the doors anytime I wanted, but there was nothing to do. The room had nothing, but three more sets of doors that led to nothing. All that was behind the doors were just walls. I waited in this room for hours, and nothing happened, until finally, a blue light lit up over one of the doorways. Okay, looks like you'll be going through door number one today, and the enchantment is efficiency. What is this? What's through the door? Nah, it's easy. J just get to the other side and you'll be fine. When I opened the doors, instead of a wall being there, somehow a long hallway just appeared. Just get it done quickly, bro. This one's easy. Just mine to the other side. The guy said all I had to do was dig to the other side. I tried going on top of the blocks, but something was blocking me. I mined for a while without finding the exit, but then something happened. What? Alright, efficiency what? Wait, why did I get unbreaking? I swear it just told me I would get efficiency one. Bro, I gotta enchant another one. Please give me efficiency. What happened? How did I die? Bro, I told you you had to do it fast. Now this guy got unbreaking. Alright, just do it again faster, please. This time, I managed to get to the other side. And when I got there, I saw a staircase that led up to two portal blocks. And when I walked over them, I got teleported back to the same room. Oh, thank God you did it right. All uh, right, you're done for now. What's going on? Is that not the way out? Why didn't I escape? Yeah, there's no leaving this place, bro. You work here as an enchanter. We're short on workers these days. How is all of this possible? Oh, let's go. This one actually gave me efficiency. All right, I got the pickaxe enchanted. Now I got to enchant the diamond sword. Let's go. All right, let's see. For the sword, I should want sharpness, right? Unbreaking? No, I don't want unbreaking. Wait, this one will give me sharpness. All right, I guess I'll do the third level. The next time I walked into the room, all three doors had lights over the doorways. What am I supposed to do now? All right, we back. Let's hope you do better on your second day. Let's see what we got here. Unbreaking one, no. Bane of arthropods, no. Uh, sharpness, there we go. You're going through these doors. The next hallway I walked into was full of dripstone. It wasn't anything complicated. I just had to survive the damage until I got to the end. But once again, I got to the other side and got sent back right to the same room I was in before. Good job, you got sharpness done first try. Honestly, I thought it would go way worse. Hey, let's go, sharpness one. All right, now the enchantment table's working. All right, let's see, I'll enchant my chest plate, I think. I think that's the most important piece of armor. Let's see, I want protection, right? Uh, there we go. Protection one. Should work. The next room I was in didn't treat me well, and I didn't exactly survive. Uh, this chest plate has curse of binding. Is that supposed to happen? Please don't die again. I can't have curse of binding on the resume, bro. It took me another try, but I finally got through the zombie horde hallway, only to be sent back again. I had a feeling the guy may have been telling the truth, and there truly was no escape. I'm pretty sure if I put another bookshelf right here, it should unlock a bunch of different enchantments. Let's see, I want something good on this diamond sword. Ooh, wait, looting? Wait, I think that's a really good one, I'm gonna do that. Uh, what do I do here? Bro, I wish I could have done this one. You just have to rob all them and you're good. Just as I was about to rob the villagers, one of them stopped me and started telling me that there was a way out. He gave me a note and said the key to escaping this place was the curse of vanishing. He told me to wait for a doorway to open with three hallways. If I die in all of them, I should be able to escape. I thanked him for the help and then I had to rob him. I need to fill this corner with bookshelves and let's see if this did the trick. All right, I'll just put the sword in here and level 30, let's go, I got it. All right, I'm just gonna see what this gives me. When I opened the doors this time, instead of being one hallway, there were three. This is what the villager told me about. Now, all I had to do was die in all three before I get caught. Make sure you get them done fast. We don't got all day. I was gonna have to move quickly if I wanted to escape. The first hallway was the knockback hallway. The creepers were fake, so I couldn't use those to die. But there was an easy way out in this one. I just jumped in the lava. That was one out of three. Let's move it in there. Come on. The second hallway was for the fire aspect enchantment. But once again, this one was too easy. I just didn't use the fire resistant potion and jumped in the lava. Now this was the hard one. There wasn't enough space to quickly die from fall damage. I had to keep jumping on the dripstone to take small amounts of damage. Hey, what's going on in there? What's taking you so long, bro? What? Wait, what? With one heart left, I jumped. Oh my god, bro. Now I gotta enchant all these by myself. I woke up to see that I had escaped. 
but was back in the same style room as before. That must mean that there's more to come. No way. Look at how crazy this sword is. Okay, if I want to put fire aspect two on this, I got to use the anvil. 